Whether you want to start a business venture, an e-commerce website, a blog, or you want to venture into freelancing, more often than not, you can't help but feel lost at times. I mean, what are the areas that you want to niche in or you want to focus into, especially if you, want, if you have a lot of ideas? I also encountered that same situation before until I read the book, Your Network is Your Network by Porter Gale. There is an area there or a, a teaching called the Porter Gale Funnel Test. And Porter Gill encourages a leader to think about the areas that they are most passionate in. And because, you know, there's this notion before that the areas that you're passionate in may not necessarily give you the revenue that you desire. So she's challenging that perspective. And I believe in that too. Actually, if you will be able to identify the three passions that you have and focus on doing projects that will allow you to generate revenue from those three projects or those three passion areas, then, you, then your tendency to become successful will be higher because if they are your passion, you will be able to do it effortlessly. You know, you won't get tired easily. You won't get sucked in. You won't get demotivated easily because the moment it is your area of passion, you're excited to work on it day in, day out because it makes you happy. So for example, in my case, when I started, my three areas of passion were e-commerce, education, and working with people. I think working with people is always important because in order for your venture to succeed, you will always end up working with people. So definitely, working with people is an area that you must not exclude in those three areas of passion. The other two areas can be those where you are really good at. So for example, if I consider myself passionate in digital, like e-commerce and digital marketing, I can put that under the context of e-commerce. And instead of just referring to education, which was my third area of passion before, I'm now changing that to leadership. Because at the end of the day, e-commerce, digital marketing, and the likes, these are more tech skills, but you also need to have the soft skills, which are the character, the traits, your communication style among others. They have to work hand in hand together. So my three passions are e-commerce, leadership, and working with people. So how about you? That is an area that you need to think about. And the moment you've identified your three passions, then you can more or less come up with a vision statement on how can you help people become better in what they do. Because the moment you are able to identify what areas you're passionate in, wherever you go, when people ask you, what do you do? Why do you love what you do? Then it is much easier to communicate because you know that what you do can help and improve people's lives. The people around you, the people that you bring added value to, you know that what you do can make things better for other people. And if you are able to do that, then you can say that you are working on your passion zone.